Just above the waters of San Francisco Bay, we have the ongoing saga of the New Bay Bridge. As Alan Martin shows us, we've just learned a little more about one of the span's lingering problems. Well, we're talking about bad bolts again. again, but specifically, these are rods at the base of the bridge's main tower. Turns out they're rusting and even possibly cracking. If you buy a new condo or you buy a new house or you buy a new car, you kind of do a, a last walkthrough, right? You walk through with the contract and you go, take a look at this, take a look at that. What do you think? What do you think? 536 days after a ceremonial procession opened the new Bay Bridge, and Caltrans is still trying to figure out exactly what's going on at the base of the main tower, a web of 420 steel rods that were supposed to be sealed in a protective grout. At least 34 of them were not. Sometimes they found no grout whatsoever and sometimes they found intermediate grout up and down. So one of those rods was pulled from the foundation for a closer look. We've machined out specimens. You can see holes that we've cut out. The good news is that those rods have not been exposed to seawater, but they have gotten wet and more potential trouble surfaced when those specimens went under an electron microscope. Uh, we saw some corrosion product. We saw some evidence uh, of, of uh, some damage, if you will, on the very, very surface, but it's too early to draw any conclusions. Caltrans is adamant that the bridge is safe and ready to withstand a strong earthquake, but rod failures could mean more earthquake damage. We're talking about post-earthquake performance that we can keep traffic going. We're not talking about a threat to that. What we're talking about is now the tower might be perturbed just a little bit. Engineers won't know the full extent of the problem until testing is completed next month. And until then, Caltrans hopes the public can write out this latest drip of bad news from a $6 billion bridge. Um, the bridge is open, it's safe, the public is moving on it, and a lot of people are very excited about it. Now, engineer Brian Maroney, who you just heard from, says the bridge could withstand an earthquake without any of those rods. They are that confident that the span is safe, but if the rods are indeed failing, it would raise questions for what kind of shape the bridge would be in after a very strong earthquake. And yeah. that's why we built it in the first place. I, and I think the plus safety. side of this thing is they are watching this so closely, every, every little yeah. piece of corrosion and rust. And, you bet. Uh, and so that's good. For six and a half billion dollars. Well, you get your we money's worth. We should watch it closely. Absolutely. <laughs> you bet. Alan, thank you.